1975 on the east side of Iowa City, a quaint little park was established named Pheasant Hill. In the 2009-2010 year, Miss Harper and a group of students from Lemmy, Hoover, and City High went to Pheasant Hill Park to build the mosaics in the park that look a lot like this. Well, why did you choose Pheasant Hill Park for the art project? I actually did not choose Pheasant Hill Park. Uh, I was approached by Marsha Bollinger from the city of Iowa City. Um, she's the um, uh, neighborhood uh, community arts and neighborhood representative for the city of Iowa City. Um, and the Washington Hills neighborhood had requested that a park, Pheasant Hill Park, have a some sort of art that brings more attention to the park. Um, at that point in time, you couldn't really tell that it was a park. Uh, it was kind of looked more like someone's backyard. Um, you had to go all the way around to see the playground area. So uh, meeting with the city of Iowa City and um, the City Arts Council, Public Works, um, we kind of came up with the idea that there needed to be some sort of sign um, that would show that there was a park there. So um, bringing in my interest in glass and mosaics and a lot of work from City High students, um, as well as students from Lemmy and Hoover Elementary. Uh, we all collaborated to create what is now uh, a bench and uh, ten cylindrical sculptures that have mosaic completely covering them, that are kind of cone-shaped. Um, and so it all started out with uh, the kids from Hoover and Lemmy, uh, Lemmy Elementary doing uh, drawings that they submitted to us at City High. And then we converted the drawings into mosaics and created the glass works that are now there at the park. Okay. Uh, hmm. Are there any other projects that you're gonna do? There. Yes, we do currently have another project we're working on uh, for the city. Grant Wood neighborhood was really in love with Pheasant Hill Park and the mosaic work that's there and so they approached the city of Iowa City and uh, Marsha again, Marsha Bollinger again, uh, approached me with doing a second mosaic work for the Grantwood neighborhood right across from Grantwood School. There is a bike trail and the trailhead is, you sort of can't see it very well right now but we're doing uh, what's behind me as part as a segment of what we have. Um, and City High students have been working on this mosaic as well. There's going to be two eight-foot pillars that are on either side of the bike trailhead. Okay. And those will be covered in the mosaic as well. So that'll be set up hopefully by the end of the summer. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so there, there was approximately, well, there was over 100 people that worked on Pheasant Hill, including all the kids who did the drawings and then all the students, the high school students um, from City High and West High that did the uh, mosaic work. A lot of people were involved in um, the, the people who were really key in doing a lot of the mosaic work. Their names are on the bench, on the sides of the bench, in little beaded letters. Okay, I have pictures of that. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> so I can edit that in as good. you say that. Yeah. Oh, and, and all the kids, the kids who did the drawings have their names. If they put their names on their drawings, they have their names underneath each of the parts on the actual mosaic. So oh, some of those kids okay. go to City High now that did it okay. at Hoover and Lemmy. That's cool. Yeah. And that? This is not the greatest thing to, to see, but um, all the mosaic work was done here at City High. And so if you can see this one here, um, this is the bench. This was the actual bench that we glued the glass upside down to a piece of paper, a piece of heavy paper, mm. over the winter months. And then when it when the bench was installed in the spring and we could take it out there, we put the glue, the adhesive, on the actual bench and then took this and sandwiched it on. And so peeling the paper back, then it was right mm. side up. And so you see it in reverse here. And same with all these. All this is in reverse on the bench at the actual park. And even the little beads, those, they look like little M&Ms, but they're the little beads. We put those on upside down and then attached them. Uh, it's reverse method, it's called, or indirect method with mosaics. So 